All right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, we got how to turn off lob timing in NBA 2K22 Next Gen. So as you can see by the clips that are rolling right here, literally all you got to do, if you click on this video and you're looking for the solution within one minute, <laughs> all you got to do is hold your X button or square button all the way down, and it's going to just go to the extent of that dunk meter. And almost every single time, and I would say whenever you're wide open or if you are ready to predetermine when you are going to get that lob, you're going to make it every single time. And you can see I do have Hall of Fame Lob City Finisher on in this video. You can see the dunk meter size is ridiculous <laughs> with that on as well i will go ahead and pause and, fr and freeze frame that for you guys but this little strand of clips right here is all against the same exact people you're gonna see i go for the slip again don't really get it so we're gonna run that back <laughs> and kind of try to get in with it again and you're gonna see boom dunk meter size is literally the entire thing and all you're gonna have to do like i said is hold down on x or square the entire time and as long as you were predetermining that you will make it every single time now i'm gonna explain to you how and why i was missing some of these as well and we're gonna do that in this video so i hope you all enjoy the video if you do for to drop a like sub if you're new turn on them noties all that good stuff and like always try one to one thousand likes also a quick disclaimer this is me going back after i've already edited the video and i wanted to make sure i let you guys know you don't need hall of fame lob city finisher to make this work for you. you're gonna see in this clip right here i don't have a full dunk meter yet i'm holding down all the way you can see it still goes in it still says slightly late even though i literally held it all the way down to the cancellation of it and long story short you don't need it on hall of fame to do so so i was thinking about what to title this video and i had like three things in mind one was going to be the power of hall of fame live city finisher where you can see the entire meter on this thing is green anyway so i could release it literally anywhere on here and it's going to go in the other one was going to be how to never miss an alley oop ever again in 2k22 next gen i feel like that was just kind of bland and then this one right here how to never have to time them or just how to turn off your timing now you can see there are some that caught me by surprise and i just ended up actually just tapping the x button to time the dunk now if you were to try this in this situation right here like if you try holding x right now it's not going to work for you you have to be able to predetermine and know when you're going to be catching a lob to be able to not have to time it and hold it all the way down so we're going to roll some clips right here also showing you what happened when i tried to do that a little bit late so this video is not going to be me 100 percent of the way through just treating you guys all as if you're novices and you don't understand anything about the game that's not what i'm going to be doing but i do want to cover all the bases in terms of talking about alley-oops a little bit before we talk about this but because I know a lot of you guys are going to just click off the video and you're just bored of like me explaining things. I'm just going to start with what you came for the video. All right. So if you are someone who's trying to hold X all the way through, like we were showing in all those previous clips, what you need to do is you need to preload it. You need to be holding X right now or because if you're not and you start doing it about right now, it's going to do this every single time. You're going to be doing very late. You're going to be irritated with me because you clicked off the video after one minute because you already saw what you needed. And then <laughs> now you're coming back to the video and you're like, why am I very late in every single thing that I'm doing? Long story short, in these clips, what I'm doing is I'm holding X a little bit too late. I'm not preloading it soon enough. And I'm starting to hold X like in these moments right here. And then boom, it pops up as a very late. Now that we have that out the way, what I want to explain is if I start holding X right now as the meter is actually like visually on my screen, what it's going to do is it's going to release at this point. So there's two different ways of timing dunks in this game when it comes to the alley-oops. One would be to tap X wherever you want it to be let go. So for instance, what I like to do when I'm actually timing the alley-oop dunks is to tap X at about nine o'clock every time because it's a safe thing to do. The green is always going to be in this range right here. We'll talk about that later in the video, but Anyway, the other way that you could do it is you could be preloading it like I was already talking about. And whenever you let go of the X button is where it's going to stop. So there's two different ways of doing that. And that's why I'm explaining to you guys, if you start holding X too late, it's going to treat it like the first one I'm talking about where you're just tapping it. So wherever you press that X button, if you're not already holding it like right now is where it's going to release really hoping you guys are following me on this i'm explaining it as well as i possibly can but th there's a lot of complex stuff when it comes to dunking and people think it's as simple as just tap x and you know hold x and it's as simple as that but it's not it's not the case and also i have been studying kind of the size of this dunk meter because as you're going to see it does pop up on this one and it's very like a lot smaller than the other ones were and it's not that i'm running lob city finisher any different level or anything like that it's literally just that it's a more contested dunk i'm also lower on stamina as well and it's in a driving situation rather than a standing and my driving dunk is lower than my standing dunk on this but either way long story short if you see something like this pop up <laughs> you can see i hold down on it all the way and it still goes in so if you're someone who's struggling with that timing of getting that little frame of the window where it's only like half of your dunk meter right there or even sometimes it's like one fourth where it's literally just this much size of the dunk meter right here is available to you if you're struggling with that boom this whole holding x all the way down or holding square all the way down thing is really convenient for you and yes i understand there's people who will be mad that i'm making this video because i'm helping the quote unquote bots out there 
but in my opinion this helps all players out there it's really not that big a deal if you ask me this is something that in current gen is already a thing anyway you don't have to time your alley-oops or your dunks or anything like that and realistically you do still have to time your contact dunks so that's it's not like you're taking the skill implementation out of the game this doesn't work for contact dunks by any means you can guys you guys can try it all you want i promise i've tested everything out that could possibly be done with dunking in this game and it does not work on contact dunks it is gonna however work like i said on the alley oops and honestly if you run the hall of fame lob city finisher anyway you're gonna see a huge increase to your dunk meter size regardless and really just rarely miss anyway so my two explanations on what I could tell you guys, like I said, and this is very straightforward information. I hope you guys enjoy this because it's going to be a lot shorter of a video. But my two things that I would straightforward just tell you is that A, like I said, you're going to have to hold X in this moment right here. You can't let it off and like start holding X when the dunk meter has already popped up. And then B, if you run Hall of Fame Live City Finisher, the highest level you can do it, it's going to be a lot more helpful for you and it's going to increase that dunk meter size a lot. What also should be said as well is this little clip right here where I green the dunk, right? But here's the thing. This little white slit right here is what's supposed to be the green on the dunk meter. However, I let this go right here and I green it. So realistically, the game is just lying in terms of where it wants you to release it. You can see the white slit is right here, like I said, and I release it right here and it's a green. Now, there's two different ways you can go about this. You can think it's either the game lying and you're just greening this dunk right here and the timing is wrong and just not truthful. Or <laughs> this is my other thought process too, because I have missed green alley-oop dunks. I believe that you actually want to put it in the white slit no matter what and this green is lying right here I don't think I actually greened this dunk right here I think the white slit is the actual green every single time and it's not visually also real quick I just want to talk about the convenience sake of maybe just in real game situations right because you're not just gonna be holding X every single place you go on the court if you're someone who's like a finisher or something like that what you're gonna be doing is if you're knowing that you're setting up that alley-oop for your point guard you're telling you're saying hey that dude's playing really high hedge or he's playing sides I'm gonna go and like curl it off for the slip or, cur or just go straight down the middle for the slip and throw me a lob I'm holding X what you can do is that but in these situations where it completely catches me off guard I just passed to my point guard all of a sudden my guy jumps out you do not want to be holding X down all the way you're gonna smoke wide open dunks because you are trying to be holding X too late just like these ones right here so Long story short, I'm just showing you guys my fails to help you understand and help you get better with it as well and not make those same mistakes. And I'm never making those same mistakes either, eventually. <laughs> not in these ones, but you can see. Again, same exact clip right there. Like literally in the same exact clip of me missing the dunk by holding it down all the way, on this one, I'm already setting it up. Like you can see, I'm telling him, boom, move toward my left. I'm coming toward your right and I'm going to slip right down through the middle. I low-key kind of screwed it up even. I made it way more contested for myself than I needed it to be. But either way, then you can see even even in the situation where my dunk meter is smaller, I'm still holding it down all the way and it's still going in. And you saw a lot of pretty semi-contested dunks in this one right here too, where like, I mean, it's still in traffic and my dunk meter size is still through the roof as well. Whereas that one right there is wide open, easy, and you just hold it down all the way. I mean, realistically, I don't think you can go wrong with the holding down as long as you do it properly with your timing and understand when to hold X. Like right here, again, it's so cake. You see that guy's not really playing. You're just holding X all the way and you're never going to miss that. It's as simple as that, really. All right, so to wrap up this video, what we're going to do is show a couple lobs in the exact same game. So I had one 3v3 game that I caught like seven lobs, albeit this dude in pink wasn't AI. He got kicked out of the game. So just keep in mind, this is why I didn't want to use this video for an actual gameplay or anything like that. But you can see going for all these alley oops, but I'm not doing the hold down on the X thing, right? I do know about that information in this moment, but I'm not exactly doing it. Why? Because it's really not that hard to time alley oops in the first place. You can see the dunk meters are still pretty big. What I would recommend for you guys too, is if you are doing these, that you want to kind of let it go at this like nine o'clock area. You can never go wrong with that, no matter how big your dunk meter is. The problem is you'll never be able to adjust in the moment to how big the meter is. Again, Ideally, if I know that I'm wide open and I see that the meter is literally just to go back and show you how big this one is, you can see literally the whole thing is like green. I could have let this go at pretty much any time, but ideally the perfect spot for this one would be pretty much right at the bottom. As you can see, that's where the green is or just really realistically like anywhere in here. But long story short, you can just let it go right at that nine o'clock spot pretty much every time and never, ever have a problem with it. And maybe like a slightly bit earlier, a slightly bit later on that but realistically that nine that nine o'clock spot is your sweet spot for anything where like i could assume on this roll right here that i would be considered wide open you can see this guy's kind of out of the play but he could still get a good jump so if i'm someone who was anticipating that that would be a wide open dunk and i'm just expecting to time it at the bottom of the bar i i just would not recommend doing that it's always going to be somewhere toward the top if it's as small as it can possibly be it's probably going to be like in from here to the top so in terms of the clock like we got one o'clock to three o'clock or six o'clock nine 12. I'm sure a lot of you guys understand how non-digital clock work. All right. But anyway, 
So in clock terms, pretty much, you can see at the bottom of this is gonna be six o'clock, and that's the earliest you should ever expect to want to let it go. If you're wide open with the bar fully green, that's when this whole, like, quote unquote, green slit is gonna be. You can see it's always at the middle of wherever this green bar is. So this is to green the dunk right here, but this is the green bar. I really hate how they did that because it's really hard to explain in the videos to be like, this is your green window. It's not your green window. This is the green bar, and this is your green window. And Realistically, I, it's not even truthful because you're gonna see on this next one right here <laughs> I go for the dunk and it's gonna be super late and it pops up green So honestly this whole this whole dunk thing is just complete BS in terms of like when to expect to green it And that's why I say you don't really need to green alley-oop dunks in the first place So long story short your sweet spot is gonna always be on that 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock range And I would never expect to want to let it go at 12 o'clock I would just pretty much say tap X at 9 o'clock every single time if you're gonna be doing dunk timing and you really can't go wrong with that to be completely honest with you the latency is not that bad on these and realistically even if you are delayed just tapping the button right here every single time is gonna allow you to let it go within this range no matter what your latency is or anything like that so anyway that's pretty much off video we got one more live to show you and then just like that I just want to explain and show you that I was sitting down here mashing on this guy and <laughs> that's my only miss that I had on this and then boom just to show you the box score of me not missing any alley-oop dunks or anything like that that was the one miss in that but again we were playing an AI so don't take too much of that and <laughs> you can see I did have seven blocks as well. well we'll maybe show those clips on a different video but anyway that's off vid I hope you all enjoyed if you did for to drop a like sub if you're new turn on the noties all that good stuff and like always try one one thousand likes if you made it all the way through the video put Ali in the comments search porch me all the way through or put lob if that fits your interest any better and other than that feel free to check out other videos on the channel I know this one was pretty short like I was saying but it is what it is like I said we'll we'll have a lot more content in terms of the 7-3 that I'm on <laughs> I got a lot of stuff coming with the videos with this stuff I just been rep grinding and grinding these new builds for pro-am and stuff and I'm gonna also be using this in the park. I've honestly been a lot more accepting of the taller bigs. I made a seven footer and a seven foot three in the last like literally two weeks and I've been just straight grinding them honestly the entire time while my guards have been grinding new builds as well. So anyway, that's off video. Like I said, hope y'all enjoyed. I'm that. Take it easy, man. Peace.